Trouble already. Cars in the wall. Danica Patrick, David Rudiman, and more down in the grass. And Kyle Busch. It looked like Danica was, was basically in the middle of the racetrack, you see, going into turn one. And uh, just made a kind of an erratic move, and the car just jumped, jumped out from under. Well, very similar to what happened to Kyle Busch on the first lap of practice yesterday morning, although he was able to just maybe hit the side more than in the front. But the car just got loose as she tried to turn down in the corner. Still lined up outside. Three wide middle. Still three middle. You all right? Kyle Busch. Stay low, stay low, ease up here, ease up, get down, keep coming. I'm not sure if he got maybe tapped from behind or if it's just that, no, I don't think there's nobody behind him, so that didn't happen. It's just, this shows you how difficult it is with these cold tires. You try to turn the steering wheel at all, next thing you know, you're out of control. Kyle and his brother Kurt having to start at the back of the line in backup cars after their crashes here, and yeah, that team just goes around. Brendan's losing his nose, coming up on the track. And behind him with a 13 of Todd Bodine gets Ooh. into the wall. And hard contact from the 99. All right, we're done, guys. We're done. You all right, Todd? Another truck involved behind them. Yeah, I'm all right. A lot of debris. Here's oh. Newberry. He gets into the 13, into the wall he goes. He got loose on the inside. There comes... The 99 of Watch Brian Stylus. Bam, up in the air when he hits that outside wall. All four tires up off the racetrack when Todd made contact. Watch slow motion here. Great camera, camera angle, guys. Watch this thing fling into that outside wall. And that was a hard hit by the 99 of Brian Silas. But all four tires up off the racetrack. Brennan Newberry, right side of your screen, already into the outside wall. Wow. The contact and then... The hard hit into the wall once again. Most of the stuff that he had to take that hard hit from when he hit with the left front, Brian Silas had already tore a lot of it off, so that's that's a real tough blow when you hit the wall with a damaged truck. We'll turn two, Brian Vickers. Caution flag is out, a hard crash for Brian. And you can see right here is Brian Vickers. He's sideways, it looks like he's trying to save it. Oh my, look at this little. Oof. Kenseth scooting by there. What a terrible crash. And that's just what's happening. Yeah, with this tire and this track combination. When those cars, when they break loose, they just snap around. Wow, look at Truex and Casey Kane dodging there. Trying to get past Paul Menard, A.J. Allmendinger spins, oh, and no. Allgaier and Gilliland have a horrible collision oh, right at no. the start-finish line. Oh, that's bad. It is David Gilliland's car that comes to a halt in flames, well, he's all in but there destroyed. Paul Menard, the 27, is the car that's backing up. Here comes Allmendinger to the inside. At the left side, right down on the line down there, and the car gets a little squirrely with him, gets a little loose, and here we go. And it's on. Boy, when he comes down the hill, and hits that Paul 51, Garner. and that turned him in, that turned him right into a Gilliland yep. when he did that. And uh, it was a hard, hard impact. You saw Algaier get clipped by Almondinger. And watch that red car shoot across the track right yeah. into the path of David Gilliland. And I guarantee you, Gilliland was on it, trying to get through it without getting in it, and he didn't quite make it. And that is an unbelievable crash. Well, the good news is we're halfway now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Blaney had the edge when they went across the stripe. Oh, oh he's going to get loose. And sideways, Ryan Blaney goes. Does he keep it out of the wall? Brushes the back of that oh. truck, and behind him he gets hit hard. Johnny Sauter flew in there. He, he might have had some help. Johnny might have got hit from behind. Yeah, there was two trucks that came up on the accident scene. 
Well, then something caused him and to turn abruptly towards the outside. And Blaney had that thing saved. I don't believe it would have had enough damage to matter, but you can see Johnny Sauter shoots to the high side. Tyler Young, I, I'm guessing, got into the back of Sauter and caused Johnny to lose control. Well, it almost looked like Tyler Young was in the outside while he was up higher than Johnny Sutter, but there yeah. still may have been contact there. Johnson grip in these corners. Ooh, trouble, turn one. Danica Patrick, Landon Castle tangled up. Castle going for a slide. Yeah, we did not and hit anything, did Patrick not hit anything. Wall. Like Danica had a chance of not hitting anything, but just back up on the track. Eighth caution is out. I'm bringing a pay road here. It's got some pretty heavy left front damage. Racing for 25th and 26th positions on the lead lap. And I saw that. It kind of looked like. Castle went into turn one ahead of Patrick, and maybe she thought she could make a move underneath him, and things didn't go like she wanted it to. Wanted it to. Send this to the garage. Make sure you have oil pressure. Or maybe there's more to it. This is off turn four. That gets clear there. And she gets in on the bumper and but just mm. doesn't get off of him. Right, right there. That's where you're talking. And yeah. you just turn it left and lock it down. And she had a chance to not go up hit that wall if she just stayed on the brakes and kept it down there. Hmm. It's like she's trying to save it and just kept driving it until it uh, hooked to the right. Yeah, at that point right there is whenever you should just, as a driver, realize that this is a spin, lock it down, and you can come get four tires. And that's uh, the kind of things that you'll have to learn with these cars. Spin, smash, crash. Huge. Kyle Busch's bad day continues. And he got Joey Logano as he was sliding down off the wall in turn number four. Nothing Kyle could do. Joey doing everything he could to avoid him, but could not. Kyle Busch said the car was again snappy loose. We don't came see around this. at turn four. <laughs> you don't see this every day, backing down pit road. Well, I think he can see out the back window better than he can the windshield right now, probably. I think he's just looking for the garage, to tell you the truth. You'll see Kyle, the car just snaps out from under him again, like it did earlier in the race. Stay to the bottom, stay to the bottom. All clear, all clear. He's no down the, down the hill, himself. and when it does, Joey Logano was trying to get by on the inside. You'll see Joey coming along here. Thinks Kyle's going to stay up next to the wall, but the car comes down, and that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Joey was all the way on the apron. He felt like Kyle was probably going to stay outside up next to the wall, but the car was just coming down the hill. And look at that 22 car just goes airborne. What an impact. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That is unbelievable. unbelievable. Two drivers coming off great runs at Texas last Saturday night. Kyle won, Joy finished fifth.